today we're going to be having a quick look at the uh, holiday park we were staying at for Brixham, South Bay Holiday Park, which was owned by John Fowler. So let's get straight into it and look at the caravan we stayed in first. So let's start off with the kitchen. Uh, you can see it's got all the basic uh, kitchen utensils over here. Uh, you've got a little bit of storage to put all your stuff in. Um, and all in all, just a nice little kitchen. Uh, but now let's move on to the lounge. So yeah. there's your TV. It looks like you've got a little uh, heater there. And a couple of areas to store your stuff. And then you've got this really, 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 really long sofa. There's your little dining area with the table. And there's Dylan who's already knackered and then just fallen asleep. You've also got another little lounge table here. And all in all, that's the lounge and kitchen area. So my overall thoughts on the kitchen area and lounge. I felt like the lounge was quite spacious and had a lot of room for us to do what we wanted to. And although the kitchen wasn't spectacular, it got the job done and all in all, it was pretty decent. We did find some other problems later, which you'll see uh, once we've moved on to the next section. But which does alter my view slightly on the overall caravan. Okay, next up, whatever's in here. Well, I haven't uh, discovered this area a bit, so let's have a look. Ah, there's Dylan. I've got nothing. Let's look over here to the right, see what's in here. It seems to be boiler. Boiler and some other cleaning utensils. Okay, let's do a little U-turn. And look in this room, it looks like we've got uh, the double bedroom, well twin bedroom sorry. Uh, it's probably be where my, me and my brother are sleeping. You've got two little uh, cabinets to try and store some stuff and a lot, much larger cabinet for your clothes. And a nice little mirror to see my lovely face in. And mine. And his, if you call that lovely. And now let's move on to this area. No, I changed. The bathroom. Little toilet. Sink. And shower. Can't really complain. Looks nice and tidy, nice and clean. And yeah, more all decent bathroom. Now let's have a look at the master bedroom. Hi, what are you doing here? This is my bedroom. Really? Okay, well this is the master bedroom. Looks like it easily fit two people. Uh, nice little storage compartment up on the top. And you've got a nice little closet here as well, where they've stored all the bedding and you can store all your clothes and stuff in. Decent. And yeah. Can you do a little uh, bed test for us? Kevin. Rate it out of 10. Um, bit too bouncy, so I'm gonna say about Six out of ten. Okay, that's a Dylan review. Oh, Ooh, what is that? Is that a tooth? That's what it looks like to me. So you might have seen that fruit bowl on the dining table when I was showing you the kitchen. We just moved the bowl and found a tooth. What well, looks like to be a human tooth. The caravan was supposed to have been cleaned and I'd assume they would have moved the bowl to clean the table. But obviously they've just cleaned around it if they cleaned at all and that's why the tooth has been pushed next to it. And it's still there. So if they've taken this shortcut when cleaning the table, what other shortcuts have they taken whilst cleaning? We didn't want to take any chances, so we wiped down absolutely everything including handles, anything that we might need to touch. On the other side, if you send in Glen Moss G67, this could be your tooth. I wonder what else is lurking around here that we haven't just noticed yet, so a little bit worried now. I'll just uh, carry on looking around, see what else I can find. And I'll give you a little overall thoughts on the caravan. The tooth wasn't the only thing we noticed. We also found the tooth wasn't the only thing we found. We also found dust in the radiators, what seemed to be a dead spider and mould growing on the ceiling. The shower tray filled up the moment you turned the shower on, and mud marks on the doors as if a muddy dog had walked past. These wouldn't take that long to clean, which shows maybe just a lousy job from the cleaners. Another issue with the caravan only applies to people six foot and over is the fact that when I stepped on the bed uh, my feet were hanging off and I continuously hit the wall which wasn't ideal which meant I couldn't get very good sleep whilst staying in the caravan. So all in all not the greatest experience with this caravan. I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10 overall just because of those issues. Although the lounge and the kitchen were okay. 
Now let's take a look at some of the facilities at the Holiday Park. So this is what the Holiday Park looks like. Uh, G67, the caravan we were staying in, is over here. About a 30 second walk from that is the exercise trim trail you see later on in the video. A few minute walk from that is the clubhouse where all the main facilities are based. The crazy golf, the arcade, the clubhouse itself, playground and swimming pools. So we're in the arcade now. I'm just going to see what's around now. So they've got a couple of like exchanges and change money things. That's what they're called. You got the prizes that you need tickets to win. Okay. So here's your ticket. To, basically, you get tickets here, and, here, and then you'll get receipts. The Batman game. Some more clothes. And you've got a 2P thing. I've got some 2 here, so I'm going to use some of those. You've got 10p game as well. You have to try and put your 10p in. Get it onto one of those. You've also got like a um, not sure what it's called, but if you know what it's called, then um, please tell me in the description. But you have to try and hit the robbers in this, but you don't hit the police with this thing. Keep you guys in. Oh, it's on. You're not supposed to take it off the thing, do you know? So, we're currently in the clubhouse right now. Just thought I'd give you a little 360 what it looks like. So, over to the right there. That's the uh, bar area, and the spin round. That's the main sin. That's the main stage there. The ceiling stage here. It's quite large. This one, this uh, clubhouse, it's larger than most ones. And yeah, lots of seating areas. And that's more or less the clubhouse. I'll show you something back towards the uh, back of the area. I'll show you. Over there you've got the arcade, and over here you've got the chef's corner, and that's more or less it for the clubhouse. Crazy golf time, so this is one of the facilities here at the park. Uh, I'll be completely honest with you, I'll be straight with you, it's not very well maintained. Uh, I guess it's alright for a few minutes, it's just like a little activity for you to do, but it's a bit meh. So I'll let you see for yourself, uh, the crazy golf course is a little bit run down here. Yeah, it's not the greatest of crazy golf courses. I think the best one is probably this one here. Yeah, you got the little thing, you have to get it through. The little windmill. I think it's supposed to actually be something attached here. Obviously that's been ripped off. Go around. And then, just to get it up here, you have to put it through the pipe and it will land in that hole down there. You got this one, which is probably the most maintained one. And, it look, and even that one looks quite run down. And then you got this one, just a completely bare, just a straight thing. Oh, that was really... nearly got in the pipe. So now we're at the baby play area, uh, specially made and designed for Dylan. Hey. Uh, so this is the baby playground, basically just loads of baby apparatus, and yeah. Do you want to go with some of them, Dylan? Sorry? Have a go on one of them. You're kidding me. Go on. Oh, right. And now uh, you've got the, uh, what you might call the big kids area. Obviously, not really. This is where Dylan hangs out. This is 
So I'm going down the biggest slide. You got a basketball, uh, basketball uh, hoop, More swings, fun. and More a busting. what's it called? A zip line thing. Okay, you're not meant to go up the slide. Okay. But sure. One last thing. You've also got the uh, outdoor pool, which currently isn't in operation. It's currently closed. But you got a water slide. Well, a tiny little water slide here. Might just extend it a little bit. Show you. And yeah, so you got the indoor swimming pool over there. The outdoor swimming pool. That's quite visible. Yeah. And that's basically the pool area. The holiday park's also got a little convenience store attached to the clubhouse. Basically, it's just meant to I mean you can, don't have to go anywhere and get your stuff. It's just a general convenience store. It's got some souvenirs and stuff as well. Oh, you look like you've got a coffee machine over there. That's the convenience store. Okay, currently at the uh, exercise trim trail, as it's called, uh, in the, the Haytor section. I'll just put a little map up to give you guys a bit of context. Uh, I'll just show you what it's like. It's fairly simple, fairly small. Let's have a go. First, need to balance on here. I'm doing this with only one hand because the other hand's holding the camera. Just go round. Uh, go round again. Uh, and again. And one more. Uh, again. Doing this with one hand is quite hard. Okay, let's try and do this little tightrope. Okay, this is painful. No, this makes it more of a challenge. I'm do it with one hand. I'm gonna be behind you. Okay, my brother's gonna be behind me then. Uh, man, to do the tightrope. Next one's quite hard. Yeah. yeah. Is that spinning? Oh god. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Did you manage to do it in the end? Yeah, I will look at it. It's like the first one. Checking the chapter first once again. Okay, so hold on. Imagine just like one. very slowly. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Uh, 10 out of 10 for you. So this is, this is a nice little field that's uh, right behind it. And yeah, nice little open area. So my overall thoughts on the entire holiday park, um, the caravan was okay, which is why I gave it a 5 out of 10. The cleanliness issues were a big uh, worry for us, as well as the height issue I had where I, my legs were coming off the bed and I continued to hit the wall, so the caravan was a bit meh. The facilities, um, they were okay in general. Uh, the Crazy Golf was a little bit run down and could have been refurbished, either that or they just stripped the entire thing away and turned it into something else. But I reckon refurbishing it would probably be easier. The trim trail was quite small, but hey, I'm not going to be the one to complain about that. It was okay, and it gave me something to do. Apart from that, the rest of the facilities were pretty decent. They did what they were supposed to do, and I enjoyed using them. So that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to check out the rest of the series about our Brixham 2023 trip, and I'll see you in the next one.